What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Williams Show. Well, fishing vlog. On my last episode, um, I I showed y'all I caught fish off a little jig, and let me show you the jig I was using. Now, let me see. This is right. Oh, this is right. Oh, okay. On the last one, I was using this jig right here. A little uh, purple, small. And I had it on a two rig, on a double rig, which means I had a swivel up here and one coming down and the other one here, and I was swimming it through the water. Well, today, I went about some, went to, I mean, not today, but yesterday. I went to Bass Pro Shop and bought. I used the white ones the other day, and they worked pretty good, so I went and bought some more white ones, crappy jigs. And what I do with those is dropping those in the brush piles and the structure and crawling them on the bottom or swimming them over the structure. So I'm going to use one of these. And I may double rig this when I get out there. But for now, we're going to start off going out there. I'm going to take this off. And... um. I'm going to show you guys how I do I'm going to show you guys my rig, my setup, how I do it before I get out there. This is a 1 16th ounce. A 1 16th ounce lead. Now, I may put a heavier lead on here when I get out there. Um, adjusting and adapting when you get out there is all depending on the fish. Like, if I throw this 1 16th ounce out there and don't get much bite, I may fish a heavier weight closer to the bottom. But like I said, it's all about adjusting and adapting. Adjusting and adapting. Never get stuck on a one mind frame. I'm going to go out there with a plastic worm, drag it on the bottom. I'm going to catch bass. That's the way I want to fish. That's that In the fish game, that's a no-no. You always go out there and you look at the situation and the circumstance, the water condition, the weather, where you're fishing out, what the fish want, and you take it from there. This is just a starting point. You got me? Okay. All right. So. I was right on that. I've never used these before. So it'll be my first time using this one right here. Uh, trying to get on it the right way. Trying to see if I want my pill. Okay, okay. All right, let me see something quick. Well, there we go. That's my jig right there. I'm going to keep that one on there like that. I'm going to do single. And like I said, when I get out there, I may add two. I may adjust and adapt. So that's going to be one rig. This is on my amp pole spinning tackle. And um, I have another color. Let me show you. Charcoose. Uh, June bug and char charcoose. So I may switch up between that color and this color for the, for the, for the small bait. For the small bait. I use it for bass, basically. It's good for crappy or whatever. Let's see right there. So I got two colors that I bought. Now, on to the next bowl. Yeah. On my last show, I had a worm on there. This right here is just one hook with a crawler like this. And what I'm going to do is sink this crawler from the top column, I may use a split shot. Like I told you before, you go out there, you see what the fish want, you take it from there. I'm gonna throw this on top, let it sink to the bottom slowly, drag it on top of all of the structure. I may have to use a split shot, which I'm gonna add to when I get out there. And I may switch to a Cinco, and I may switch to a double rig plastic worm, which is the same thing as a small one, but two plastic worms one swivel running up and another plastic worm and another plastic worm running down. If I change that, I think I'm going to let y'all know. But like I said, find out when you get there. So, you know, I can go out here with the intent to fish this way like this and end up using a Carolina rig by the time I get out there. So, like I said, this is just a starting point. And I think that's what a lot of people get fishing mixed up at. 
is they look at fishing as what do you use to catch fish? And basically, you got to see it as a starting point. This is my starting point because that may not even work when I get out there. It may be something else more productive and I may switch to it. So it's always just a starting point. Now, if you're a beginner, I suggest you stick with one thing and then try it and then try something else the next time you go till you have a little confidence in some of these different lures and setups. Build confidence, get to know what the lure, the time of year that it works best in and all that, you know, learn the basics. And then once you get past the basics, you can be more experienced on a more higher level and just start with something and figure it out when you get there. But if you're just beginning, that's going to be hard for you. You probably just want to stick to a plastic worm, swim it on the bottom, and then move it on the bottom, and then move it in the middle column, then swim it on top, and use like a top water. You know, just the simple basic. You don't want to go out there trying to say you're going to switch it up and stuff because you don't really know how to switch it up. So that's what experience teaches you. And I got this right here. This is my one of my poles, free pole. This pole got just a small hook. I may put some bread on there, catch a live bait, you know, a little bluegill if I feel like, or I may put like a little piece of worm on there and just fish with live worm and put a split shot on there or just put the hook and let it free line to the bottom of the worm. This is an extra pole. So I'm very versatile and, um, that's, that's how you become a successful fisherman. You got to be very versatile. Nothing is in a box. Nothing is written in stone. All right. And this right here is a pole that I keep not rigged up at all. Not rigged up at all. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see that. But uh, not rigged up at all. This right here has got the line. It's got a nice reel. It's got the line. And um, nothing rigged up on it. So... Let's say if I get out there and I say, man, I want to do plastic worm. I want to do the night crawler. So I'll put the plastic worm Carolina rig or whatever plastic worm Cinco on this one and keep fishing this one with the bait caster, sink it to the bottom slowly. Two methods, one time. And with the other one, I got a partner we're going fishing. Y'all probably see them when we get out there. And um, they use a worm. They got to dig up their worms and everything. And, um, uh, we're gonna dig the worms up and stuff like that, and uh, they're gonna fish with. He's gonna fish with the worms, but I say I may, I may not fish with worms. So we'll see when we get out there. But thanks for watching, y'all. Hope y'all learned a lot from that, and it's time to go fishing. All right, see y'all on the water. All right, y'all, I'm out here in 14 foot of water. I'm gonna just go ahead and try to fish this. Uh, this um man i'm gonna let do the fish finder turn off i'm gonna fish this um little jig i told y'all about right here this one right here i'm gonna go ahead and fish this one right here let me check the line i'm gonna check this one. i'm gonna fish this one right here in the deep deep water let me tie my jag up a little bit okay a little bit looser i'm gonna go ahead and fish this in the deep deep water okay i'm gonna just 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 experimenting right now this is what i tell y'all about experimentation you got the spearmint so now we're gonna just throw it out there and um we're gonna spearmint let's see what we can get spearmentation is what it's all about spearmint deep water 15 feet we're gonna fish 15 feet and um just swimming it swimming it through 15 feet just seeing if there's something deep beautiful right now you know yes sir loving it <laughs> and that's beautiful man it's beautiful we're gonna go a little bit deeper don't worry and we see in the structure right here we're on the seven feet up there it go there it go there it go oh yeah oh yeah that's a big one hey oh <laughs> he wanted me to call it so I got one Ooh, look at that action right there, boy. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, my boy say, look at that, y'all. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that right there, y'all. I got on camera. Y'all, okay. 
Y'all gotta love it. Y'all gotta love that right there. Y'all gotta love that right there. Y'all gotta love that. On the OC show, I try to tell y'all, that boy going down there. Got me on there? Going down there, catch it nice just like that. Don't mess with it. Don't mess with P Funk. P Funk, P Diddy. I hope y'all ready for some more of that action. Y'all ready? Ready for some more? Oh, let me get my bait right. Let me get my bait right. You know what I'm saying? Get my bait right. There we go. Told y'all when I when I and I switched over to that more towards the bottom, it, it worked. It worked. Even though it's probably another way I could probably call them. Probably is another way I could probably could have called them. But um That was the way. And we're going out of seven coming out of seven foot. Going just a little bit deeper. Out of seven foot, just a little bit deeper. I cast it to I wanna say about nine feet. You know what I'm saying? About nine feet. And when I felt him on there, I set that hook. And right now I'm coming across a lot of stuff. Y'all can see right here, a lot of different things that um, could possibly hold fish. You know, especially across right here. I'm seeing something right here I'm coming across. Like it could be a fish magnet. I'm coming right across it right now. And uh, oh, I'm seeing a little bit of stuff suspended up over it. And I might actually pop one off of there. And that's like a log or something. But a big tree. Big tree log. I got one on y'all. I got one on and he, he's. I got the line stuck all the way around here. Look at this. That's the funny part. Oh, I gave him slack. Oh, I still got them on. Oh, look at that right there, y'all. I, I switched over to, ooh. Oh, he tried to pop my line. Let me give him some drag. Give him a little bit of drag just in case. Yeah, boy, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah, boy. I did that. I did that thing, but you gotta ease them on. Have a little bit of fun with them. Take it easy, bro, take it easy. And, I, and, I, and I, what I did, I switched over to something a little bit lighter. You know what I'm saying? Because I couldn't get nothing, nothing that big. I switched over to something small. Look at that, look at that. I switched over to something small, boy. I switched over to something small and got them. I switched over to that slider jig. Remember I told y'all earlier I was using that slider jig? Huh? I told y'all earlier I was using that slider jig? Look at that. Went over to the slider jig. Look at that. Switched over to the slider jig. I couldn't get nothing with a regular. And switched over to the slider jig and got one. Pop one. I went real small and finessed. And look at that. Slider jig. Slider jig. Or slider jig gone. But the bass is there. That go tell you. I was using the purple worm, switch to a slider jig, and here you go. You got it. Just gonna get another one. Now, look at check this out. I went over to a purple slider jig. So we're gonna go ahead and it, it worked. So we're gonna go ahead and throw it on out there and see if we can't get one of the little basses jumping around out here. One of the little basses jumping around out here. And I said, let's hit it to the bottom. <laughs> got a little brim, y'all. Check it out. Little brim. Got the brim on this side. Nice little brim. <laughs> I found a little patch of grass. I guess I got some brim sitting in there. So let's see if we can't fish it a little bit more. Don't mess with don't mess with the brother brims. Don't mess with the brother brims. I'm looking at all these. I had this patch of grass right here. Just fishing this patch of grass. Probably got brims all up in here. You know. Got to figure this lake out. You know. Got to figure it out. But I got that brim. See if we get another one. We fishing. I got him. I got him, y'all. I got him. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, yes, sir. I felt him when he hit it. I felt him when he hit it. Y'all look at that. Another one. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Check it out, y'all. Yeah. And I scold big on him. But this this fish right here, like he just been ate up from the top up. Man, look at him. Just look at him. Like he ain't got no fin to hit. So I'm trying to eat him. What the heck? Y'all see that? What the heck? He's missing fins. Today's your lucky day, boy. I guess you looking like I'm gonna let you go. All right, y'all, let him go. <laughs> he took off like he nobody business. Uh, uh.
got hit. I just got hit. Man, set the hook. I got him. Oh, yeah. And he hit it. And this right here might be a more. Oh. <laughs> hey, y'all. Y'all see that right there? Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, boy. These suckers and suckers getting on, man. This suckers over there watching me, boy. I got that sucker good, too. Yep. I got him. Oh, he just stabbed me. Now, the fish guard. Check it out, y'all. Check it out. I got this sucker right here. Look at him right there. I got that sucker right there. Got that sucker right there. Yes, sir. So, we're going to go ahead and throw another one on out. I like the way I set the hook, y'all. That was a nice hook set. Beautiful bass. Hope y'all can see that. Beautiful bass in the kayak. Nothing better. I got him. Oh, yeah, I got him. Woo! Yes, sir. He came right up for it. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Oh! Yeah. I mean, he came right up for it. God, dog. Look, that's a big one right there, boy. Yes, sir. He came right up for it. I mean, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sir. Look at that right there, boy. He came right up for that sucker. I seen him too. I threw all the way in that corner. I'm done. I'm done, y'all. <laughs> I got him. Oh, yeah. I got him. Woo. Yes, yeah, sir. He came right up for it. Oh. Oh, yeah. I just got hit. I just got hit. Man, set the hook. I got him. Oh, yeah. And he hit it. And this right here might be a more. Oh. <laughs> hey, y'all. Y'all see that right there? Woo -hoo -hoo. Hey, boy. These suckers and suckers getting on, man.